Welcome to Lawyer Milk We All Can Swim series. In this episode, we will be talking about treading water. Learning how to tread water is essential for being safer and feeling more confident and competent in water. When treading water, most people immediately think of their legs. Your hands also play a vital role in keeping you above the water. To start the treading water technique, stand in the shallow part of the pool. Place your forearm below the surface and sweep them back and forth while keeping your wrist stiff. This motion is called sculling. You should feel the water move around you from the force in your forearms. Once you get comfortable with the movement of your arms, test out your legs. The most basic and most exhausting form of treading water is the flutter kick. Go to the part of the pool where you cannot stand and grab the wall. Place your legs vertically and start using the flutter kick. Move your feet back and forth in a quick scissor leg motion, keeping your legs pointing downwards. If you feel comfortable, move away from the wall and attempt the flutter kick without holding onto anything. Try holding onto a floating device like the pool noodle or the kickboard in order to have great buoyancy in the water. It is much easier when you hold your breath. Your lungs act in a similar manner as balloons. Filling your lungs with air will allow you to tread water much easier on the surface of the water. The Egg Bitter Kick You constantly move your legs up and down through the power phase and recovery phase. Ensure you carry your legs high to outline with your hips. The outflex determines the power of your kick. Drive your recovering feet as far as possible from the center of your body. The power kick utilizes the motion called the thrust. Start the thrust by driving the foot towards the bottom of the pool. Trading water is essential in swimming as it is a good booster of confidence in water. With these steps, you should be able to perform the trading water technique perfectly. <laughs>